What is up everybody? It's King Kunta and today I have another amazing World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how we can make anywhere up to 120,000 gold with just one hour's worth of work farming this specific route. Before I go ahead and get into the video and what all exactly you're going to need and how to farm this route, I want to make sure to mention that we're giving away WoW tokens all the time. And how you get entered is by leaving a comment and a like on this video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the farm. Now, we, before we go ahead and start farming this route, there's a few things you should know. There's a few things that you're going to want to pick up off the auction house before you go ahead and run around and start running this route. First things first, we're going to want a file of true sight, and we're also going to want to have some dark moon fire water. This shows us the hidden nodes in the nearby area that allows us to basically double our output from herbalism, mining, and we can even use the fishing skill to go ahead and make this farm worth even more. A few things to note before we get into the farm. You're going to want to go ahead and inspect into the correct talent through the mining journal to get the most out of this farm. If your character is not a druid, you are going to have a harder time farming this. You're going to have to pick the spec that allows you to mine herbs, or mine nodes, and pick up herbs at the end of the specialization. This takes 60 talent points, and this can be very difficult to achieve. Um, it, it really is a giant roadblock in the way, and if you have a druid character, I highly recommend using them. Now, when you pick these specs, if you're not, or if you are using a druid, you're going to want to spec all the points into this tree right here, right off the bat. Also, you're going to want to put one in each of the sub specialization. I say this because this allows us to gain plus one skill in mining any deposit. And once we get to the very end, we get plus 15 skill when mining any deposit in the main specialization. Now we're doing this so that we can increase our mining knowledge over and over and over again until the point we can rank all of these up to their max level, allowing us to make it so we can actually get undamaged null stones from these nodes. We actually want to do the same exact thing for herbalism. Now if you're not a druid, you're going to have to go into overloading the underground. It is much harder. Um, it takes much longer. So again, if you have a druid, I recommend doing it on them. Now, on your druid character, you're going to want to go into Bountiful Harvest. At the end of Bountiful Harvest, we're allowed to refine herbs to that higher level. And it also gives us a talent to learn more skill when we get to the final end of this tree right here. Also, you're going to want to make sure that you learn each sub-specialization and correspondingly put one point into each one so that you can pick up those extra skills when you are picking these up. Now, the route that we are going to be farming specifically is this one here. You're going to want to follow this route exactly the way that I have traced it out. This allows for the highest node density if you have used both the file of true sight and you're using the potion that allows you to pick things up quicker dark moon fire water. If you follow this route in conjunction with fishing, you can make 120,000 gold per hour doing this. Now there are a few other tips I want to mention when you take your items to the auction house. Now when we're at the auction house, one thing we're going to want to watch out for is snipers. As you can see here, we have someone doing this actively right here. And here's his name if you want to report him. He is placing these orders for items for very low or half the price. And then he is setting a sniper tool to buy anything that is placed under this price. This is a problem because it's taking advantage of the add-on auctionator. It's allowing people to snipe tons of gold worth of items off of the auction house and relist them for their normal actual market price so there are a few ways to avoid this we can just refresh as we can see we have another guy doing it here but we can just keep refreshing until eventually we don't have this if this is very very repetitive see we finally got one now we can 
actually list this for the price it needs to be listed for or you can just type it in off the bat this just gets around the whole sniper activity and you don't really have to deal with any mess and you will sell it quickly as you can see here this just avoids you selling all your mining and herbs off for half the price this is why people will think that you will make less during this farm this is why people will make less it's because they're not paying attention to when they're selling their things on the auction house so please please pay attention to what you're selling on the auction house and don't come back and leave a comment on this video about how you can't make this amount of gold because you 100,000 percent can and i have done it on all my characters and with that being said thanks everybody so much for watching the video and don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below so you can get entered to win that wow token